reading for September 8th, entitled, Help for the Conflict Promised. Thus saith the Lord that created thee, O Jacob, and he that formed thee, O Israel. Fear not, for I have redeemed thee, I have called thee by thy name, thou art mine. Isaiah chapter 43, verse 1. Every obstacle to the redemption of the people of God is to be removed by the opening of the word of God and the presentation of a plain, thus saith the Lord. The true light is to shine forth, for darkness covers the earth and gross darkness the people. The truth of the living God is to appear in contrast with error. Proclaim the glad tidings. We have a Savior who has given His life that all who believe in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Obstacles to the advancement of the work of the Lord will appear, but fear not. To the omnipotence of the King of Kings, our covenant-keeping God unites the gentleness and care of a tender shepherd. Nothing can stand in His way. His power is absolute and is the pledge of the sure fulfillment of His promises to His people. He can remove all obstructions to the advancement of His work. The Church of Christ is God's agency for the proclamation of truth, empowered by Him to do a special work. And if she is loyal to God, obedient to all His commandments, there will dwell within her the excellency of divine power. If she will honor the Lord God of Israel, there is no power that can stand against her. If she will be true to her allegiance, the forces of the enemy will be no more able to overpower her than is the chaff to resist the whirlwind. There is before the church the dawn of a bright, glorious day, if she will put on the robe of Christ's righteousness, withdrawing from all alliance with the world. The members of the church need now to confess their backslidings and press together. My brethren and sisters, allow nothing to come in that will separate you from one another and from God. Talk not of differences of opinion, but unite in the love of the truth as it is in Jesus. Come before God and plead the shed blood of the Savior as a reason that you should receive help in the warfare against evil. I assure you that you will not plead in vain. As you draw near to God with heartfelt contrition and in full assurance of faith, the enemy who seeks to destroy you will be overcome. Turn to the Lord, ye prisoners of hope. Seek strength from God, the living God. Show an unwavering, humble faith in His power and willingness to save. From Christ is flowing the living stream of salvation. He is the fountain of life and the source of all power. Taken from Letter 199, dated September 8, 1903. To my brethren in positions of responsibility in the cause of God.